So like I said earlier, many folks today are working from home, whether they like it or not. You've been doing it for a while. What are your, say, top three tips for folks who want to work efficiently from home and get the most out of their time at home? All right. So the number one thing I would say is to try to isolate your work from the rest of your home life. And you can do that in a few different ways. There, the, the two di main ways that I use are time and place. <laughs> so number one, to have work hours, to have like time when you are working. And that can be like, you know, you get up at a certain time in the morning and then you start working. And then you have also a finishing time when you say, at this time I want to stop working. I want to just go cook some dinner or something and, you know, watch some Netflix or something, hang out with uh, with your family or whatever it might be. Like to have, have that start time and end time. And, I, and I'll admit, I don't always do, stick to that. I'm not always so, you know, disciplined that I'm able to to always start at that exact time and end at that time. But I try, I really try because I think that's important. And then the second thing uh, about uh, the place is to have some kind of dedicated workspace. And this is again something where I think a lot of people right now, you know, they're giving this advice. You hear this uh, people saying, you know, create a dedicated workspace in your home. And they're like, well, I can't just like build an office, right? Like I don't have a spare room. Like the room I'm sitting in here right now is actually an office. Like this is this is me and my girlfriend, we're both uh, working from home. So we have this big, big desk here that we're sharing and this is our office. So this is where we work. Uh, but I know that a lot of people uh, don't have that, you know, they don't have a space, right? They don't have a separate room. So a separate workspace does not need to be a separate room. Um, you know, the first time I started working from home, I had just a very, very small IKEA desk. And, you know, of course, IKEA because I'm from Sweden. <laughs> <It's so> <laughs> <brand>. <laughs> and, you know, this IKEA desk, it cost me like, I don't know, like 10 euros or something, like a very, very cheap desk. And that was my dedicated workspace. It was just like a super cheap desk, super cheap chair. Uh, I just put my laptop on there and that was my dedicated workspace. And that was also important for me because I didn't want to sit in my bed and do work. You know, I didn't want to sit in my kitchen because that or in my couch because that's where I relax. I want to kind of set those boundaries and just having that specific place where I was sitting down to work uh, was really, really important to me. And and especially now that, you know, both uh, both me, my girlfriend have been working from home now for a while, it's very, very important for us to have this dedicated office because that means that when we go out and close the door, we're, we're not working anymore. Now we're in mm. our normal home. Mm. Great. Yeah. Is there, is there a third tip? Oh, yeah. Three tips. <laughs> <laughs> well, two great yeah, tips. I guess that yeah. was the first tip. First tip. That, that, that was the first tip to kind of separate um, separate work from 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 your home life, right? And then the second thing I will say is is a little bit what I mentioned earlier about making to do lists, like making lists of tasks, because. When you work at home, just like when you work in an office, there are a lot of distractions, right? Like when I was working in an office, there were also distractions, like people coming over to my desk or, you know, loud noises in the office or things going around. But there are also distractions at home. So I think like, but at home, you don't have that, those people around you, like your team sitting next to you who are kind of keeping you accountable. You have to like keep yourself accountable. So the way I do that is, again, by using to-do lists, by using uh, like things I want to get done for that day so I can kind of keep myself accountable and focused around that. So, you know, to self-organize a little bit more, uh, that would be my, my second tip. Um, and then finally is a little bit kind of like a meta tip, I guess, but it's to constantly, you know, see what works and what doesn't for you. Because, I, again, I wrote an article about remote working. A lot of people have written articles about remote working. But the, this article, at least the one I wrote, was very much like, here's what works for me. Here's what I've been learning for the last three years. It, it's not necessarily what's going to work for you. Mm. So I think you have to constantly kind of iterate on your process and to uh, try out different things, see what works, you know? Does it, you know, if you're in a position where you can, uh, you know, for example, go out to your backyard, if you have a backyard and sit outside and work, if you're in a country where there's, you know, the weather permits it, try it, see if that improves your productivity. Does it improve your productivity to move around the house and maybe you sit at your desk, you know, for half the day and you sit on the couch for the last two two hours? Does that improve your productivity? Maybe it does. You know, try different things. Uh, that's that's always my recommendation.